Well, hello! I want to welcome you to a review of... Oh, what should I call this pen? Well, I had a little controversy over this the name of this pen on my channel a little while ago. Uh, I have been calling it for probably almost a year a Wingsung A698. Well, I've reviewed a Wingsung 698. It looks nothing like this, and it's a piston filler. Uh, but I had a viewer suggest that it's a Fullowin 016. So I'm going to delve into this controversy and talk about its similarity to the Platinum Koi in this video. So let's dive in. If videos like this interest you, where I talk about fountain pens, both new and old, and at all price points, I'd invite you to subscribe. If you'd like to talk about this pen, perhaps weigh in on the controversy over the name, or the scandal of the similar finish, please feel free to leave a comment down below. So let's take a look at it. So the pen is beautiful. That is a beautiful finish. It's an acrylic, resiny thing. I guess they get that by uh, doing flakes of it and melting them together. Uh, you can probably tell that it's faceted. Six facets. A little less even on the barrel but still six facets uh, one of the things that's leading me toward believing that this viewer was right and calling it a following and uh, Frank Underwater's blog also called it a following 016 which is why I ultimately called it on this video a following 016 is this F why would a wing song put an F uh, the nib provides another clue I mean, it says Fullowin on it. So I'm going to go to Fullowin 016. I don't know why it's sold under the other name. I can't explain it. I no clip on it, but with a faceted barrel, it's not going to roll too crazy. Cartridge converter pen. I had trouble with the converter that came with it. I ended up with ink all over inside the barrel. Uh, since switching converters, I have not had that trouble. So I think I just got a defective converter. All in all, very attractive pen. Now, I own this finish. This is a Platinum 3776 with a Koi finish. It's a celluloid. Now, no, it's not faceted, although this particular model was sold with a faceted barrel. Uh, I would love to own one, but I don't love the price, so I probably never will. Uh, and if you look... This acrylic just doesn't quite match the brilliance and chatoyancy of the celluloid. It doesn't have that camphor smell either. Also, it does not have the seam that's on the celluloid, which some people actually don't like. So, uh, but I think it's a worthy attempt. And it's a pen that is affordable. I wouldn't own this one except for some reason it was discounted down to the level of a regular Platinum 3776. And uh, then for a while Platinum discontinued their celluloids. I think they uh, ran out of material and they had to... Celluloid takes a while to make so they had to make some more before they could resume selling them. So I don't know if I got it on discount because of that or why, but I did. And I love it. But that's not the pen I'm reviewing. This one is. I, just for the sake of posterity, I'm going to write both names on this notebook. The ink I'm using is uh, Noodler's. I should put an arrow by that name because that's the one I'm going with. Noodler's Blue Nose Bear. Which is supposed to have a, a dark center and then feather a very light blue, but I never see that, so uh, make of that what you will. Let's see, this is not a flex pen. If you use your imagination, you may get to pretend you see a little line variation, but I honestly do not. As far as wetness and flow. Please do a blue nose bear. 
Nope. But the pen has no trouble keeping up. And uh, the smear test, which is often a, whoops, not sneer, smear. The smear test, which is often a test of both the ink and the pen. If I was a good reviewer, I'd probably just use one single ink for every review. Whoops, missed. Yeah, not like super wet, but not bad either. And then reverse writing, if you're into that kind of thing. Not that there's anything wrong with that. As somebody pointed out on one of my comments, I guess that's a um, Seinfeld thing. You know, fairly smooth. Definitely an extra fine. So that's how it writes in reverse. Now let's take a look at a longer form piece of writing. Now normally I would bring back my little uh, pen holder to keep the pen from rolling off the page. But I don't need it this time because with a faceted design, it'll sit there like a good little pen. Maybe. Stay. Okay, it wants to roll a little bit. Not perfect. I mean, if I set it perfectly, it would be perfect. But... Anyway, so uh, what am I? What do I think about this pen? Well, I'm excited to see uh, some of the Chinese manufacturers getting into a more exciting materials. Now, no, it's not celluloid, but does it have to be? I mean, there are some gorgeous, gorgeous acrylics out there. Um, check out Edison Pen if you want some gorgeous acrylics. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see the Chinese getting into that. Uh, I, I, it feels like a very quality manufacturer. I. Uh, you know, maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but uh, it feels like it is. Uh, the fact that the six-sided thing isn't perfect on the barrel, which is hard to make out on the camera, but that that's a little disappointing, but not horrible. Uh, I'm a little disappointed with some of the staining in the cap that I can't seem to get rid of, uh, but that could have been my choice of ink at that time. But then I think, you know, I have other pens that I've used that ink in too that it's not stained, so... Uh. But, uh, yeah, overall, very good pen. Not an eyedropper. You saw the metal inside the barrel, um, the threads that hold the barrel in place, I mean. Um, but very nice pen. So if you're looking for a nice, classy pen, if, if you have your eye on the Platinum 3776 of the Koi, especially the uh, faceted version, and you look at the price and go... Rrr! This may be the pen for you. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm excited to see what the uh, Chinese manufacturers continue to bring to market. And if you're looking for this pen, I know it is probably really a full of 1016, but you may also find it helpful to look under Wingsung A698. Just a little word to the wise there. Uh, and at the price, pick one up for fun. They're cheap. <laughs> So anyway, if videos like this interest you where I talk about fountain pens both new and old and at all price points, I'd invite you to subscribe. And if you have a cheap but gorgeous pen you'd like to talk about or maybe talk about the name or talk about the Platinum Koi, please feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, I thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.